inclusion and diversity or diversity inclusion. I think I, I got that backwards, but I think people get the idea, Justin. Good morning to you. Good morning. Glad to be on, Jack. Yeah, so an event coming up on Friday, which you guys have been planning for quite some time, a, a symposium on uh, indigenous art and, and culture, really. Uh, talk to me a little about uh, uh, the preparations. Well, we um, I'm new to Northern Michigan University, but I'm not new to planning, and I got brought on board in uh, late spring, and they told me about this upcoming symposium, and I was super excited. And they told me what it's about. It's an Indigenous Perspective Symposium, which is um, uh, kind of a new um, uh, symposium, definitely for Northern, but they've had this in the region previously, so it's kind of building off of uh, stuff that's happened uh, academically, at least in the uh, in this area. And now Northern uh, Michigan's uh, kind of uh, excited to kind of bring this this approach forward, centering Indigenous people's thoughts and collaborative efforts, and and um, talking to the Center for Native American Studies, they. They wanted to look at for our first offering, look at art because it's so popular and it's it's just really dynamic here in this community of Marquette. Um, I think that was an excellent choice, and and now we're going to have an amazing show. Um, we we're going to have uh, I think we're going to have a packed house, so we <laughs> which is a great thing, um, and. Yeah, so I, it really came from like an idea from uh, President Taspin and this Board of Trustees kind of talking about uh, what are the things that they can kind of broaden broaden their scope to so that the larger community can get access to this information that we kind of take for granted. We kind of get access to it all the time. So. And now everybody so gets to the, come. People, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Justin, what will people see uh, at this event? And what will yeah, they hear about? Question, Jack. Um, yeah, so um, because it's new, we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, on the newness of it, um, kind of having like an opening um, celebratory event, talking about like, hey, why why are we doing this? So you'll get you'll get this straight from leadership uh, at Northern and from uh, leadership from uh, different tribal nations in the area. So they're going to be attending and, and talking about how. Of the collaborative approach of this um, symposium, and then we're going to get right into a really great uh, presentation on an Anishinaabe curated art by the Zebuing Cultural Center down in uh, Saginaw, Chippewa. We're going to have their director come up and present that, um, and then we're going to talk with a local artist, uh, Soft C, and, uh, and a student, uh, uh, Vera, are going to talk about. How do we look at murals and, and have a, a participatory uh, event where people are going to talk about? Um, no spoilers, Jack. I can't spoil uh, everything. You got to come and, and see for yourself. But you're going to try to find, talk about ways of how how we can get the community involved in in creating art and what does that actually look like? And then uh, then we're going to have a decolonizing diet inspired lunch. Um, and then at the same time, we're going to have the Woodland Sky uh, Native American Dance Company come and perform. And it's going to be absolutely um, an amazing. If you've never seen them, uh, they are they are um, an amazing, amazing uh, performers. And they come from all over the place, and uh, we're absolutely delighted to have them as part of our program. And then in the afternoon, we have some uh, we have some really uh, nice uh, presentations, starting with uh, our own April Lindela, who's going to talk about beadwork, along with Michelle Reed and. Um, and then we're going to actually have a beadworking workshop. Um, so if people are interested, they can sign up for the, to learn how to do some beadworking. We're going to have an um, art as advocacy session. And we're, going to, we're actually going to have another uh, presentation about students creating art during the boarding school era, something that's absolutely novel. Nobody's ever seen this before. We'll highlight some of our student work um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the day. So you'll be able to come in and see the different art made by Indigenous students here on campus and, and some alumni and Indigenous artists from the region. We're going to follow that up with uh, Jonathan Thunder. If you've never seen Jonathan Thunder's work, um, he is amazing as a surrealist painter. 
in his art. Um, you can stare at it, just one piece you can stare at for hours and uh, get kind of lost. And he's, uh, we're very, very fortunate to have him come and uh, present. And we're going to close out the evening with a uh, with a film at the Jamrich Hall Theater. Um, the rest of that's going to happen in the Northern Center, but this is going to be the Jamrich Hall Theater. The film's called Bring Them Home, and it's narrated by Oscar-nominated actress Lily Gladstone. It's kind of like her family's efforts for the Blackfeet Nation to bring bison home to their community. So we have a little bit of something for everybody, um, and hopefully so we're going to have things for you to do, things for you to see, things for you to uh, taste, and um, and then uh, uh, all of it's going to be centered around um, different forms of art. So, so can people uh, still uh, sign up uh, for this, or is it uh, filled up? Uh, how can people well, get we're, involved? Well, we're about we're getting there. So if you have not, um, we we do have limits on how many that people can come. I uh, so, but I believe there's still the registration is still up. You can go through NMU ticketing. Um, it's right there in the ticketing. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know Northern Michigan's ticketing, um, oh yeah, website. Also, we do have it on on the uh, Northern Michigan's website at uh, Indigenous Perspective Symposium. If you just type that into your uh, search drive or search engine, and and you can find us that way. Make sure you register um, because there is seating. Right, it isn't just we don't have standing room only, um, and so we are asking people to register. Um, it is free to the public. Um, with just the just the caveat of registration, and we really, um, I think, uh, because this is new, we're like super excited to uh, kind of showcase what Northern Michigan can do, and I think it's going to be a great, great event. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, is there anything else you'd yeah. like to mention here uh, before we uh, wrap up the interview here, uh, Justin? Yeah, I think um, I think when we when we do bold things in this community, the community really responds. So we're really excited um, to see how many people have already registered, and um, we're like I said, we're looking to get um, a, a, a packed house and. Uh, and so I, I'm just I'm just excited to uh, to be there and, and to kind of just stand with everybody else and, and witness this amazing uh, space for learning and sharing and collaboration. So thanks for having me on, Jack. This is really a pleasure, and and hopefully we'll we'll you'll have us on soon as we have other events coming up. <laughs> 